Hi everyone, I am talking to the creative women out there who have an idea that has been chasing them for a really long time or it's been stuck in their heads. If this is you, there are probably three things that keep you stuck from getting that idea out of your head and into the world. The first one I hear from women is they don't know what their goal is. They can like see it in their head. They could um, tell it to you in a gisty kind of form, but they're not exactly sure what their goal is. And that keeps them from getting somebody to help them. I had a conversation with somebody today and she's like, I want to bring my idea to life. I want to get help, but I don't know what my goals are. And therefore I don't know if you can help me. And I want you to know like, that's exactly what coaches do. They help you get clarity. So if you're somebody who's like, I don't know what my goals are, like no shit, Sherlock, neither did I until I had my coach sit down and help me figure them out. We kind of expect ourselves to know what we wanna be when we grow up. And sometimes we just don't know what the possibilities are. And sometimes we just don't know what we can actually do to make our goals reality because they feel like swirly in our heads, especially if you're a creative woman, you've got like a soup in there. Um, the second thing is they don't know who they help. And this is a really interesting uh, problem for women. They, um, they think that they can help everybody. And actually, I know you can help everybody. I know that your solution to a problem can help everybody, but if you're trying to speak to everybody, actually nobody can hear you. So when you think, um, I, I, I have this great solution, I have this great idea, it can help everybody, it's so heavy and it's so big that it actually keeps you from making your idea a reality. So though this seems, this problem, the second thing seems counterintuitive, the second solution here is to get really more focused on who you actually do help. I had a conversation today with somebody who helps um, you know, big businesses and he can help small businesses and he can help startups and he can help entrepreneurs. That's a huge number of people. And if you think you're gonna help all of the people, like I help women in transition, for example. Do you know how many women in transition there are? You cannot possibly help all the women in transition. So we've gotta get really clear on who you help. And if you could just start talking about that and start writing about that and niching down you're gonna be a lot clearer and you're gonna be able to take the next step forward. This, the third problem that people stay stuck, especially creative women, is they stay stuck because they're not sure how they help. They know they can help and they know there's a problem to be solved, but they're really not sure how they do it. And what I mean by this is they're not really sure what they would offer. So if, if I talked to somebody and they were like, oh, I have this idea and I don't know how to bring it out of my head and I, I would be like, oh, well, I think I could help you. I know I could help you. I really, I really like working with people by, like you, but I didn't say, hey, I have two programs. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the one I think you're a fit for. That clears everything up for people. If you offer too much stuff to people, hey, Catherine, nice to see you. If you offer too much stuff to people, they're gonna be paralyzed by it. So if you're a creative woman and you want to help the world, don't do this. I have this program and this program and this program and this program and we can put these two things together or we can put these two things together or we can put these two things together because all that does is create confusion. You wanna get nice and clear on how you help. So let's go back. There's three problems that creative women struggle with. They don't know what their goals are, that's normal. They don't know who they help, that's normal. And they don't know how they help, that's normal. All of this stuff is really normal. What you need is help kind of flushing it out, peeling back the layers and seeing what's really there. The question I ask is what do you want? Who do you want to work with? Stop saying you want to work with everybody and get really clear about who you want to work with. I only wanna work with X. Let me give you an example. I say I work with creative women. That's big. Like every woman is creative, right? Like that's 50% of the uh, universe, right? Now I'm really clear on who I help. I help two kinds of women. The woman who can't get up off the couch with her idea, she needs me to help pick her up and get that idea out the door. And the other woman I work with, she's already got her idea up and running or she's an executive. Oh, you like my hair? <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Um, the other woman is like, she's high level, like she's functioning, she's got her business going. Her struggle is her hair is on fire. The two people I work with, 
the woman on the couch who can't get up and the woman whose hair is on fire. It's pretty clear, right? And when I say that to you, you're like, oh my God, like Jamie says, that's me. Right, of course, Jamie Jamie and I work together. She's exactly my target market. Or you're saying, oh my God, you need to work with my sister or my mother or my best friend. Like when I say to you, I work with a woman who's got an idea in her head, but she can't get it up off the couch. You're like, oh my God, that's my best friend. I've been talking, I've been talking to her for three years about this idea. So get clear on who you help. Get somebody to help you with your goals. I'm actually thinking about doing a little online masterclass about uh, really getting clear on your goals. If you're interested in that, um, just like leave me a note there. And how do you help? Don't bullshit people about that. Don't like be like, I could do this, I could, I could have this band-aid and I have this band-aid and I have this. Get clear on how you help. Do you have an online course? Boom, you have an online course. Do you have a podcast? Boom. Do you have a private coaching program? Boom, get really clear on how you help people. So if you like this kind of information and you want more of this information, just like my business page, I am here. I'm trying to do more lives because I think they're really helpful for people. That's what I hear in real life. Um, but like my page or um, drop me a note below and tell me what your question is. Shirley, you really needed this today. Why did you need this? Tell me. Jamie says, yes, please. How do I choose my goals when I have no idea what's right for me? Jamie, the good news is as a member of the idea space, you get a private half hour for me to pull your goals out of your head. So drop a note in the idea space or I'll, uh, I'll drop a note below and I'll have you sign up for um, uh, your half hour coaching call. So yes, I will teach you how to choose your goals because creative women have so many goals. And I worked with two creative women yesterday who were in my group coaching program and they are super creative women. And they were like, I wanna do this and I wanna do this and I wanna do this and I wanna do this. And what I help them do is I kind of like help them containerize it in a way that feels good to them because you're creative you need to be respected as a creative. You have a lot of ideas swirling around. Let's containerize those ideas and say what's reasonable and possible for you to achieve and let's make a plan. Jamie, sign up for your half hour so we can do that, okay, my love? Um, or we could do it in your next private coaching session too, whatever you like, but I would love to give you that, that half hour. So Shirley, tell me why you needed this today. Are you still out there? Anybody, anybody? Okay. Um, I'll be here to come, I'll come back to the comments if you guys want to put the comments down. But remember, you might need help doing this shit, you guys. This isn't easy. The only reason I'm here talking about it is because I had some shit. I may be doing an article for a magazine. Okay, Shirley, your brain is going to start telling you that who are you to write this article? I've never done this before. Nobody wants to hear from me. You have an expertise, Shirley. People need to hear your experience. So turn off your phone, turn off the distractions, set a timer for 20 minutes and see how far you get. That's, that will help you stay focused. And let those voices that are gonna come in and yammer at you, your imposter syndrome, screw those voices and remind yourself, hey, hey brain, just calm down. I'm just writing it, I'm not even publishing it. You just calm down, okay? So tell your brain that for me. All right, let me know if you have any questions. But Oh, I'm Jen Liddy, I don't know if I said that, and I'm a productivity and accountability coach for women who want to get their ideas out of their head and into the world. I hope to talk to you soon, bye.